I found a YouTube where they give an audio version of this little book, The Zen Teachings of Juan Po, on the transmission of mind. Is there a transmission of mind when you read this book? Or do you have to meet with a Roshi? The answer is you can get from the book the transmission of mind. Are you receptive to the transmission of mind? What does it mean to get a transmission of mind? Well, just simply reading it and comprehending it is a transmission of mind. You don't have to have some kind of mental telepathy, claircognizance, or the like. You simply have to read and you can get it. You can get it. You can get it. If you've been studying Buddhism from other than Zen sex, not sex, sex, S-E-C-T-S, sex. It's very different than sex, but they sound the same. Just like small mind sounds like capital M mind. Is it the same? Yes and no. Your little mind and the great mind of sentient beings. How do you get to have a great mind of a sentient being? Educate yourself. Don't rest on your laurels. Just because you finished grade 10 doesn't mean that you've learned everything. Continue to study throughout your life and learn as much as you can. That's what the purpose of your mind is, to learn. And once you've reached enlightenment, the awakened state, then do you stop? Certainly you can rest in the quietude while you're sitting in Zazen. But still, I would say you would still go off there. Well, maybe you would just sit in Zen for a long time. I don't. I've got a restless mind. I admit it. I'm not enlightened. An enlightened person, would they continue to study? I think they would. I don't think that the mind is dead. I don't think you reach enlightenment. I think there's a journey beyond enlightenment. And the journey beyond enlightenment is similar to the journey before enlightenment. They say, chop wood and haul water before enlightenment, and chop wood and haul water after enlightenment. What does it mean? It means that the quality of your mind changes. Instead of having a lot of thinkingness, you have a silent mind, a quiet mind, a mind that can sit still. This is an enjoyment is great peacefulness. Some people smoke weed or drink booze to get this. You don't need it. 